Guys, the Xbox console sales are tanking and this is shocking to absolutely no one. I thought, like, we've already talked about this a couple times, but yet it just keeps coming back over and 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 over again. And quite frankly, I'm a little confused because Microsoft's whole thing is Game Pass. Here's the thing with this. We don't have a breakdown with how much subscribers of Game Pass are skewed towards Xbox and PC. I would assume the Game Pass subscribers are coming from Xbox, not from PC. I think PC users, th that type of target audience is using Steam. There's some, of course, using it. And you got the people who have Game Pass Ultimate who can use both. That's I fall into that camp. Most people, I think, just subscribe to it on Xbox to get all the games. If your consoles are failing and that's where most of your source is coming from, that means your limit, your ceiling is lower than what it should be. Like ideally, if all your subscribers are coming from Xbox, again, an assumption, you'd want that ceiling of like, what are they at? I think it's like 25 million units on the, the Xbox series consoles. You'd want that as high as possible, say 50 million, you know, matching Sony roughly. Not necessarily because you want the consoles to do well, but you want the subscriptions to do well. And I don't know how much money they're making off the consoles, but if they're making any at all, I would say like drop that puppy down to keep those those subscriptions up. Yeah, X Bacon Gaming says in the chat, it's a valid point, all console sales are dropping. Uh, so Xbox console sales are tanking. And uh, so let's read through this article. Uh, I doubt it'll shock us, but I think this is worthy of a discussion because this keeps coming up. And I think there's a lot of friction here in the gaming industry. One out of 10 in the chat, tell me how you feel about Xbox. Are you happy with Xbox 10? Are you unhappy with Xbox One? Spam it in the chat, I wanna see it. Let me read this first. After months of debate about Xbox's future as some of its big console exclusive jump ship to PlayStation 5, we have our clearest evidence yet as why Microsoft is experimenting with a new platform, multi-platform approach. Fewer and fewer people are buying Xboxes. The tech giant announced in its third quarter earnings that the Xbox Series X and S revenue is down 30% year over year, with a, which I wanna say in a business sense is not good but I wanna say that's normal even from Sony. I don't know, well, we'll check out what Sony's is later, but I'm pretty sure console sales overall are, that's not too far off a number. We'll verify that though. Uh, it blamed the nosedive on a lower volume of consoles sold during the start of 2024. If that sounds like a repeat of last year, it's because it is. The hardware revenue decreased 30% on a strong prior year comparable driven by lower volume of consoles sold, Microsoft reported back in April, 2023. In February, Grand Theft Auto 6, parent company Take-Two, claimed in a presentation to investors that there were roughly 77 million Gen 9 consoles in people's homes. Jeez, man, Microsoft got absolutely squashed, right? That means Sony has more than double. Man, to go from like even in the 360 days after getting destroyed in the original Xbox days, first time doing it, makes sense. And they, I think they sold more than Nintendo. So already Microsoft come out the, came out the gate swinging for a first time. 360, domination. Xbox One, worst console I've ever owned, by far, objectively, for me. I never owned any of the crazy ones like the Turbo Graphics or the Master System, but for me, Xbox One. I mean, you can see like there's a bunch of consoles in that little cabinet right there. I hated the Xbox One with a passion. Such a disappointing console. And I repped that thing for so long. For so long. I was like, they're going to make it work. Bad console. Microsoft has only sold around 25 million Xbox Series XS consoles to date. That puts it ahead of the GameCube, but behind the Nintendo 64. Oof. At least for now. Given the results this quarter as well, it doesn't seem like Game Pass and Starfield have moved the needle much. Maybe that will change once Call of Duty, which Microsoft acquired last fall, along with the rest of Activision Blizzard, finally makes its way onto Game Pass. Diablo 4 only just arrived on the Netflix-like subscription this month, but given the fact that the fate of the Xbox Series X and S appears to be locked in at this point, it's easy to see why Microsoft is looking at other places it can put its games. Again, I think the thing that we really want to know, chat, is where are the subscriptions coming from? Because if you're getting it on an even breakdown and even distribution of PC and Xbox, that means one thing, okay? If you're getting it mostly on PC, that means another thing. If you're getting it mostly on Xbox, then the Series X has put a ceiling and the rest have to be coming from Xbox One people, right? They'd have to. So far, you guys in the chat, from what I'm seeing though, to go back to that, you guys are happy with Xbox. So Shaw, eight out of 10, Max Verstappen, nine, Junko's Junko, an eight. Luke Wolk with a nine plus one. I like the way you did that. Okay, you, you kept me thinking. Quick math, quick math. PC is Xbox, Xbox is PC from X Bacon Gaming. Yeah, but I, I, I would argue that that like makes the Xbox just useless. Why would you get one? 
And I know that's not their strategy, but then, I mean, that makes sense. Like that's, that's, they're getting away from the console business because they're making their thing a PC, but I don't understand. Why make the console if that's your move? Clearly the idea of a traditional console resonates with people because the PlayStation is selling two to one. It's not just like a slight edge, it's double. Wouldn't you rather that and PC market share? I, I just don't understand what their strategy, like I know their strategy is Game Pass subscriptions, but if that's limited by the Xbox consoles, meaning the users that of those subscriptions are coming from only Xbox consoles, I don't know, no one knows except for Microsoft. But I know people aren't really thrilled with PC from Microsoft standpoint. I mean, you can see like people are buying stuff on Steam like left and right, even though it's like like Master Chief Collection is like sold like incredibly well on, on Steam, but it's free on Game Pass PC. So it's like, I don't, I'm confused. X Bacon Gaming uh, says some console guys are afraid in price point. Next Xbox will be a PC with Steam and Epic support makes development easier for the devs. I just find that weird. I wouldn't be surprised if you're a right bacon. I just don't. Like, I find it weird. Like, if you have something akin to an Apple, okay, where you own the entire ecosystem and you collect every transaction on that ecosystem and you get all the profit, Microsoft's going the complete opposite direction where they're saying, we just want to be everywhere and not profitable, not as profitable. I, I just don't get it. Junko's Junko says they are moving their games to other consoles too, Minecraft Sea of Thieves. I think that makes sense. Personally, for those types of games, they are a multiplayer focused game and they've been out forever. And quite frankly, like they're, they're a community based game. So I think that makes sense. But when you make your consoles exactly like a PC, you make the reason of getting a console, you make the user question it. At the end of the day, people play games in the place that the, the location of which they play those games has a greater value. It's as simple as that. So when I go to play Halo Infinite, where is it going to look better on my PC or my console? Where am I more comfortable to play? PC or console? Who loads it faster? PC or console? You know, where is it easier to play with my friends? PC or console? Where is it easier to communicate with my friends? PC or console? I would heavily say that if you have a decent sized PC, you know, not too far off from the cost of an Xbox Series X, I'd have to say that you're really struggling to give Xbox any points on that board. So the value of an Xbox is relatively low. I would say for me, Xbox is the value that comes from that console is the backwards compatibility and the controller. I love that controller, but it plugs in the PC. And I honestly use it all the time. I mean, hey, we have one right here. <laughs> That's a noise Canadians make, okay? You probably didn't know, but Canadians make that noise. So yeah, I, I just, the strategy feels like it makes sense, but it also feels like they have, it feels like they're reaching, you know what I mean? But we're missing data to know for sure. Like again, I just, I really don't know how this is gonna play out if their subscriptions aren't coming strong from the PC point of view. And I, I, I don't know, unless they got like a crazy curveball for their next console, I see no reason to buy their next console. It's strange. Uh, let's continue reading. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If players can continue to flock to live service pirate sim, it's not hard to imagine Microsoft bringing another batch of its first party exclusive to the rival platform, whether that means more recent blockbusters like Starfield or the upcoming Indiana Jones game will someday make the journey remains to be seen. For now, even if the Xbox Series X S sales have gone from bad to worse, Microsoft has made it clear it's not abandoning hardware altogether. I mean, they're doing basically everything but saying out loud that we're abandoning the hardware. <laughs> I, like, I don't know how that's clear. Do you guys find it clear? I, I don't find it clear at all. Early this year, the company promised its next console would be the biggest technical leap yet in hardware history. And Xbox president Sarah Bond recently said the company remains committed to backwards compatibility and the game preservation for players' current and future libraries. Okay, hold on right here. Uh, best selling consoles. Okay, really quick, chat. Best selling console of all time, Sony PlayStation 2. The Xbox in that generation, the original Xbox, it objectively more powerful. Nintendo DS, objectively, the Sony PS PSP, more powerful. Nintendo Switch, objectively, every Xbox PlayStation, more powerful. Game Boy, it was a dot matrix machine. PlayStation 4, technically was a smidge more powerful than the Xbox, okay? The point is, same thing with the Wii. Objectively, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, more powerful. The only anomaly here is PlayStation 4, really. And it's only just a smidge better. The point I'm trying to make is Microsoft saying something like this, its next console will be the biggest technical leap, 
Microsoft, who, no one cares. That's not why we play on consoles. I will stay grounded on this, okay? No one is playing on consoles to have the most graphically impressive experience. That is not the value proposition. If you want that, PC was always number one. It will always be number one. That's the move. You get a PC. If you wanna play things at 4K, which I have to question why you're doing that, but if you wanna play things on 4K on a 4K screen, the highest resolution possible with the most amount of frames, okay? PC, that's not the point of a console. I feel like this company is completely lost when it comes to what is valuable for a console experience. And to me, it's like, you want the, you want the community to feel like they're one cohesive unit, okay? That's number one. You want the games to be there and you want them to be a better value prop on the console. There's nothing to prove this here, but it's just a little thought experiment, okay? And then I'll read your chats uh, because you guys are sending some great stuff there. I can see that. If you took, let's say, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, new Nintendo game on the Switch, if you drop that on PC, is there any world? Is there any world? I mean, it's a thought experiment. We don't know that the PC version outsells the Switch. It's just not going to. It's not going to. It, for that game, it's a better play experience, a better value on the Switch, I would argue. The cart makes it instant play. The, the community is built in. The, 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 the game was handmade for that console and controller experience. It's just something interesting to think about. I don't know. I, it, it depresses me because I really love the old console experiences. I love when the consoles gave you a, a valuable reason to play them. And I feel like these new consoles just want to be PCs in a world where I could just get a PC. So I just don't understand the business decision on that. And basically because they've made it so they're so synonymous with a PC, the only move they have left is to hold exclusives, which is Sony's move, right? Sony has exclusives, they make you get the console and a couple years later they release them on PC, that's their move. That's all they have. I'm saying like Nintendo has much more to offer from a value perspective if you're trying to go into that ecosystem. If you're a Switch fan, you have that thought out for you. You have things that you can't get elsewhere. You know what I mean? Microsoft's not even playing the exclusive game. I, I don't even know what game they're playing. Okay, let me read you guys' chat because you're all beautiful people and I just want to stay informed because it's the greatest gaming community in the world. X Bacon Gaming, Crazy Curveball Incoming. Oh, goodness. Because <laughs> I just saw your big paragraph. Okay, so we'll get to that. Luke Wolf, we have the same Xbox controller for our PC. Now, I don't make that noise. That's just you, filthy goose. <laughs> I don't know how to take that, Luke Wolf. My goodness. Hasha, I've seen multiple reports that they've said they're still going to be making consoles in the future. So at least we know they're going to be making a console for the next generation. So to be fair, I think it's pretty clear they're still going to make a console. I think they're going to make a console. I just think it's silly. If they're idea is to be a PC. When you compare it to how Sony's strategy, it's the same somewhat strat it's the same strategy. So Sony doesn't try to market it like a PC and the market has said, we like this more. So for them to double down on the thing that got them less sales, like I'm not saying go one or the other. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, support PC, support your ecosystem. Windows is one of the biggest OSs in the world. If it is the biggest OS, support it, makes total sense. But why are you making your console useless trash? Why? You could do both. I don't understand. It's not like mutually exclusive. Again, it's my my uh, opinion. Uh, Luke Wolf, I do care for the better console, both uh, Xbox before PS2, PS3 over 360, uh, PS4 over Xbox One, Xbox Series over PS5. PS3 over 360, you crazy little rascal, Luke. X Bacon Gaming, here it, here it comes, here it comes. Hold, hold back, here it comes. Bacon? They don't have to sell consoles because they are day and date on PC. Sony will also go day and date on PC. No money made on console sales except Nintendo because hardware is garbage. <laughs> this new landscape is services and microtransactions. So put games where gamers are. Yeah, but Apple. I mean, Apple is the complete antithesis and they are the biggest company in the world. Like your logic makes total sense, but Apple, they don't force you to get the phone. They don't force you to get the Mac. They just don't, you know, you could get things that work. You know, I have a PC and I have an iPhone. I get it because it's the better product. And then because it's the better product, at least for me, okay, I'm not gonna, you know, pick whatever one you want, I don't care. <laughs> Don't use big words on me, Goose. Um, the thing with Apple is like they made their ecosystem so beneficial. Like when I use my watch to go run, because I run a lot, I run every day, 10K every day. In fact, this week we did a 15K. My watch died on me. 
So Apple took the L on that one, but it syncs very well with my phone and the services that Apple built there. And then, um, you know, th those services basically are all synonymous. And guess what? Because it's their hardware, they don't take a 30% tax on top of their services. It's all theirs. Microsoft sells on Sony, Steam, Nintendo, pick a place. You're taking a 30% tax cut and then a tax cut. But like these services are taking their cut. Whereas on their own machines, they get 100% pure profit. So it's like, it's, it's weird. It's weird. I, I don't get it. First time chat fictitious. Fictitious. Excuse me, you little rascal. Thank you so much for the follow. You're beautiful. You're goose-tastic. And we love to have you here on this discussion. This is why I have this show because I want to discuss the greatest gaming news of the greatest gaming community. The Gossams. Fictitious says, I think the only reasons for consoles other than exclusives is the IG. I don't know what IG is. The convenience for a lot of people and also gimmicks that turn to good features like the DualSense controller. I a thousand percent agree with you fictitious but the dual sense controller is something that's only possible on the playstation like they tried to make it so you're when you say i have hell divers here and i have hell divers here okay they gave you some options to make it so this playstation experience is more valuable if you prefer that the internal speaker you know, some call them gimmicks and, and for sure they are but they add value to those people so that if someone has both they can go I just kind of want to use the dual sense and just sit on the couch. Like I, I could go here. This is my thing. Same thing with Nintendo. It's like, okay, I want to play portably. I can't do that on the PC. I literally, that value is not a thing unless I get another thing. I mean, Nintendo is like, it works both, you know? Yeah, exactly. Steam Deck, but you have to buy both. You have to buy a PC and then a Steam Deck. So now you're in the hole quite a bit. Nintendo's like, buy one, you get both. So that's their value-based solution, right? Uh, Luke Wolf, yeah, with my PS3. PS4 build quality pushed me out of buying it at day one. I dislike Apple. I think they're becoming the enemy goose. I mean, at the end of the day, they're a big corporation with trillions of dollars. Uh, I don't think any corporations are our friend, but they make good products. I'll buy it. I know what you're saying, though. Junko's Junko. I'm on Xbox because I broke. I'm broke and my friends are there. <laughs> Brother, you're just you're just sharing with us. We appreciate it. <laughs> Sam G. Bognier, Steam Deck, Facts. Appreciate it. X Baking Gaming, next Xbox controller. Also has it hopefully announced next month. Yeah, the Sebel controller. Let me get that up for you guys. Sibyl Xbox controller. I think that's what it's called. Code name. Yeah, that's it right there. Let me open it for you guys. This is what I'm saying. This is a better move for Xbox. Like, you need to give value. If you're if you're synonymous, like. Okay, let's work backwards. Let's work backwards as a thought experiment, okay? Take my PC. It's a, it's a mega PC. I use it mostly for editing, but then playing games with the Goslings. If I take that PC and I shrink it down to half its like power, okay? Half its size. And I put it in my living room. It can play every, every game that the current big PC can play. It's the exact same thing. It's just a little bit worse. And I have to use a controller instead. When Hellblade 2 comes out, what are my factors to make me play on the other one? It would have to be, I want to be on the couch. So you've made the value become a mindset. It's just a mindset. But if I'm always in the mood to play on PC, like on my desk, and that's fine. I want to use the controller there because I can do both here. Why would I ever go there? The value is not there. However, you add things like this, you add more value, except Microsoft's gonna support it on both. Of course they are. It's gonna be on PC. So again, they're back down to square one. It's like, why? Microsoft's not answering the why. Why would I do that? That's my problem with Microsoft. The services stuff, I'm with you. It makes total sense. But why am I touching this thing? Why do I need to buy the next Xbox? What's the why? There's no answer as far as I can see, except for you get to play on the couch. It's just simple. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't get it. Like I would say, in comparison to the PC, even just like a weak PC, like I'm talking just the lowest, smallest things. We're talking, if I wanna play games with my friends, to do it on a PC, use Discord, that's just synonymous. People are using Discord. That experience, we would all agree. Talking with your boys on Discord server, perfect. It's literally perfect. It's so seamless, perfect. Xbox, you try getting a party set up on Xbox. If you can get it up 10X faster, then the PC, I'll buy you, I'll buy you a steak dinner. It's just not happening. The experience is just worse. So again, it's like they, they don't, again, Nintendo made their own lane. So you can't make the comparison. That's what I'm saying. Xbox, I don't understand what they're, anyways, I'm going around circles. You guys know what I'm saying. Luke Wolf says, do you have an Apple Pippin goose since they make the best product search for it? Apple Pippin? Never heard of that. I don't have one. 
Pippin. What the heck? Oh, is this like their game console? What the heck? Why does this look like a Dreamcast? Like a a wannabe Dreamcast. <laughs> hey yo. Hey, yo. So that's the Xbox news. Guys, a lot to say with Xbox. I've been a big fan of Xbox for a long time. Honestly, the first time I played CE on the Xbox, uh, it was, that was mind-blowing. Honestly, mind-blowing. And uh, whatever, console aside, it's, it's, it's those games. And uh, I don't know. I just uh, it's, It saddens me. I still use the Xbox more than the PlayStation just because I love that ecosystem. But lately, just going to PC.